just we take that chance, we may just be one run short with him. Three antagonizer. He's the leader antagonizer. Good gate, Chris Whiteley aboard, and he'll be very, very hard to run down. Two Cusack got back, stormed home last start. I think that's his general favoured pattern, getting back and attacking the line hard. So he may just try to settle a little closer in the run today with not abundant speed on. And the five Valtino, she can race handy on the speed. I'm just a bit worried about her at the 1,400 metres. That last 50 is going to be the teller with her. But a good race coming up. Four, three, two, and five are my numbers. Let's have a look at this market. Uh, Freckle Rock is your favourite. He's been up and down like a yo-yo, though. 3.40, just out to 3.80. Three, Three antagonizers has been $6 into $4 today. Two Cusack, 4.20 to $4. Now, he did drift out a little bit more than that, so he's met with some good support late. Valtino, 3.80 out to 5.50. Not much happening there. Six Drew and Lad, 6.50 out to 7.50. Seven Palatial Prince, 7.50 out to 9.50. So, yeah, look, Freckle Rock kept somewhat safe, but there is some late support for the two Cusack and the three Antagonizer. So almost three equal favourites here. Here's Russell for the fourth at Rockhampton. Second time on seeing him under race conditions. He even looks to me today, whatever he does today, he will improve on. LVR goes up and saying that it's only the second time I've seen him on a race day. His palatial prince about to move in, and that will be the last of them. This is the Rocky Sports Club. Manager of the Rocky Sports Club, Jack Hughes, here on track today. And the Rolf. Antagonizer fast away. Jockey on a mission looks as though he wants to lead. Brecker Rock, ridden with urgency early, going up to be second. Beltino third. Thorben's going to settle fourth the inside. Lenric Lass and LBR drifting back. Strawn Lad. Cusack went back to second last. Palatial Prince went to the rear. Good speed here as they go to the 9.50. An antagonizer up on the Chewy shows the way by two lengths. Freckle Rock settles beautifully in second spot. Thorben third defence, LVR is running fourth, but it's been three deep from the get-go as they leave the half-mile astern. Valtino, she pushes up in the centre. A long way back in the field is Strawn Lad, fourth to last. Linerick last third to last. Cusack patiently ridden second last. Palatial Prince whipped them in. Top of the lane, 5.50 to go. Antagonizer about to be eyeballed by Freckle Rock. Freckle Rock went about a length in front of antagonizer and the jockey's gone for the doctor on freckle rock he's a length in front of antagonizer seconder palatial prince strong lad cusacks run up behind them freckle rock the leader antagonizer trying to rally back and he's cusack getting into the clear freckle rock in front not for long here's cusack cusack went up on the outside hit the front and he goes back to back cusack cusack first Freckle Rock second, Palatial Prince third, Antagonizer fourth, Strawnlack, Lenric Lass, Valtino, LVR, Thorben, the last one to clock in. He goes back to back, Cusack, another good win. Ash Butler has run down Ryan Wiggins on Freckle Rock. He had to press the detonator early, Freckle Rock, and he just got found wanting that last 50 hundred metres. But Cusack makes it back to back wins, and uh, yeah, he's been a nice horse for them already at Rockhampton. Just the three starts, two wins, and he just came with a lot full of running to run down Freckle Rock, who was game in defeat. He just probably had to go a little bit earlier than he wanted. He got to antagonizer so easy, and uh, then he just was left a, sh a sitting shot for Cusack. Palatial Prince made some ground to run third, and the three antagonizer just knocked up a little bit to run fourth. But well done, Cusack. Jared Wheelow, Ash Butler, back to back. Cusack winning the fourth at Rockhampton. We will head straight to Jason with him for race four at Quarindai.